Hello everyone, welcome once again to my YouTube channel, The Delali Network. In today's video, I will be talking about application fee waivers. So there is this private school in Connecticut that is in Middletown. They offer application fee waivers for some of their master's and PhD programs. And when you're admitted, you also be funded in the form of teaching assistantships and research assistantships. So let's get started. The name of this school is Wesleyan University. So we type the name Wesleyan University. So as you can see, I've typed, it has popped up here. I'll click on it. This is the website. So let's look at a little bit of information about the school. You see, it is a private liberal arts university in Middletown, Connecticut, in the USA. It was founded in 1831 as a men's college. So now, let's go to their website and look for the information about the application fee with us. So this is their homepage. Then when you come here, that is the Graduate Studies website. The Graduate Studies website, it says application fee. So let's scroll down. The first thing we have there is what? The fee for applications to the PhD in Ethnomusicology and MA in Music Program is $85. There is no application fee for applications to the PhD and MA programs in the Sciences and the Mathematics Department. So. When you're interested in applying for a sciences program or a mathematics program that is a master's or phd you are not going to pay any application fee it's actually for free so let's take note of that let's look at the requirement for the master's and the phd in mathematics so let's go to the application requirement so first of all let's read the graduate application process requirement it says no specific courses are required for admission, but it is expected that the equivalent of an undergraduate major in mathematics or in computer science with a strong emphasis in mathematics will have been completed. The complete application consists of the application form, that is the form that you are going to fill online, transcript of all previous academic work at or beyond the undergraduate level, level uh, letters of recommendation from three college instructors or your previous lecturers or supervisors who are familiar with the applicant's ability and performance and GRE scores. But into bracket, they say what if available, these are strongly recommended but not required. So the GRE, they are not saying it's compulsory. They are not saying without GRE, it will not admit you. They are saying it is not required, but it is strongly recommended. So if you have, you provide. If you don't have, it simply means that other aspects of your application must be strengthened. Let's continue. Students whose native language is not English will provide tougher consideration. Sorry. Students whose native language is not English will provide tougher scores. There is no application fee. If the 30 again, there is no application fee. Applications should be submitted by February 15th in order to receive full co consideration. But Requests for admission from outstanding candidates are welcome at any time. Preference is given to applicants for the PhD program. The admission process may include an interview either in person or by Skype. So let's take note of that. Application materials. Let's scroll down. The online graduate application form. Once you create the account, you'll be able to fill that. Then statement of purpose, which you have to write, telling them your motivation for wanting to pursue this particular program, what the program is going to do for you, your long term and your short-term goals and any good information that you can include which will make your statement of purpose strong three letters of recommendation it says what please be sure your letter writers email addresses are correct as they will be automatically prompted to upload their letters upon submission of your application so the recommendation will be done online by your recommenders you only need to enter their institutional email when you are filling the application form online and they'll receive an email to submit the recommendation on your behalf. Then three, the official transcript for undergraduate and graduate studies. Other recommended materials, that is the graduate record exam, GRE. Then 12 false course if you're an international prospective student. But because we are from Ghana, we don't require that. Let's continue to see what it is. You are responsible for submission of the online application and supplementary materials by 15th february so let's take note of that that is for the department of mathematics and computer science now let's look at the information concerning their funding or their financial aid 
So I've clicked on the financial aid on the same department, that is the mathematics and computer science department. It says what? Graduate financial aid. Each applicant for admission is automatically considered for appointment to an assistantship. Here is the most current stipend information. All students in good standing are given financial support for the duration of their studies. Additional funds are usually available for the student who wishes to remain on campus to study during the summer. The cost of tuition is borne by the university. So look at the information they have given here. They are saying that what? If you want to stay during summer, since summer is mostly late, right? if you want to stay to study, they are saying what? Additional funds will also be made available to you aside the assistantship they are going to give you. So let's look at the assistantship amount for the 2025. 26 academic year so first of all let's look at the financial support financial support for students in the phd and two-year programs most full-time phd students and students in the two-year ma program receive a stipend for assistantships or fellowships the duties of graduate students on stipend vary by department and general involve assistance in some phase of instruction and research tuition remission is included in the graduate student's financial package. Let's take note of that. So that is the information about the assistantship. Then let's scroll down. It says what stipend amount for the 2025 to 2026 academic year. For the science stroke mass, that is the PhD or MA, the monthly stipend is 3,742 US dollars. Then for a total of a nine month period, that is from September 1st to May 31st, we are getting 33,678. Let's take note of that. The music PhD, music MA. So please, if you are someone who is interested in the sciences, the mathematics, you can apply to this particular school for free. That is the MA or the PhD. But if you're interested in the music or the, if you're interested in the music, that is the MA music or the PhD, you simply have to pay the application fee as the information is very clear on their website. Let's go back to that information again. It says what application fees. The fee for application to the PhD in ethnomusicology and MA in music program is $85. But when you come here, it says well, there is no application fee for applications to the PhD and MA programs in the sciences and mathematics. So apply to this school for free. No application fee if you are applying for a sciences or a mathematics program once you are admitted automatically you'll be funded as well so let's make good use of this opportunity to save some funds which will help us in the other processes we are going to be involved in after we get the admission so i would like to end this video here but before i sign out remember to subscribe like comment and share See you another time. Bye-bye.